an intervention which has not been done much before, and that is improving learning outcomes through very important preschool interventions. And this we are doing with uh, another partner, Sesame Workshop India Trust, where we are focusing on children who are, you know, just in the time of birth, post birth to six years, uh, under the existing ICDS schemes. Uh, and this hopefully will cover in the first phase. We've already started this process of 6,000 Anganwadis uh, in the state as a pilot project. And if successful, will be scaled up to cover all the Anganwadis in the state. In terms of ongoing research and advocacy, every year we bring out what is called the India Infrastructure Report, which we think is a seminal contribution to thought leadership in the infrastructure sector. And for the last few years, these have been on areas which are very close to what is normally called CSR. Whether it is in 2010 on environmental issues, on the issues of water in 2011, on education in 2012, and the current year on healthcare. We also are currently in the process, we have just completed the first India Rural Development Report on behalf of the Ministry of Rural Development, which is slated for release uh, <coughs> later this month. And this has actually been the first effort to comprehensively map the entire rural sector and the whole process of rural development over the last 20, 25 years. So this, we believe, is going to be a very critical and important contribution in the area of rural development. We just completed in our climate change program a CG model, which we think has important lessons uh, in terms of how climate change mitigation can be, can be used by policymakers in the future. We regularly bring out policy quarterlies, thematic papers, and provide ongoing support to the government uh, by being involved on various government committees, be it the 12th plan committee or any other expert committee, our people very willingly and voluntarily serve on these committees. And the last uh, specific program that we are engaged in is a program called IDFC In Our Hands. And this is a program to sensitize the youth on the emerging issues of our day. So what we do is every year after the India Infrastructure Report is done, we reach out to college students through a college, uh, intercollegiate a host of programs that are arranged. In the first year, last year, we co covered the theme of water. We covered about eight, nine cities and covered several students. This year, our ambition is even greater. We are going to about 30 cities across the country. So this, we think, is again very useful in sensitizing the generation to come on critical areas of infrastructure. I'll just take two minutes to talk about some of our sustainability initiatives within the IDFC platform itself. Uh, environmental and social sustainability is very, very close to our hearts. And what we have done is we were the first financial institution in the country to mainstream environmental and social risk assessment through a dedicated group in IDFC, part of the project finance team, set up for this purpose. So this is there right from the time we started. So it's part of the corporate DNA to look very, very closely at environmental and social issues as we look at investments in projects. We are the first financial institution to sign up to the equator principles and this puts also in some sense a, a burden, a strain on the way we do business because it poses a burden on, on our clients in the way they conduct their business. So this is the challenge that we have taken up and we are the first to sign up to the equator principles. We are a signatory to the carbon disclosure project, to the United Nations uh, principles for responsible investment, the UN Global Compact. Uh, so we are, we are signatories to this. This means a lot of disclosures, a lot of commitments in terms of the way we conduct ourselves. We are a leader in the area of renewable energy investments, as Vikram had talked about. We've added about 1900 megawatts of renewable energy generation capacity, financed over 4,500 crores of small hydro, solar, PV, and wind energy projects. So we are the largest lender to uh, the largest investor in, in the renewable energy space. We also have sustainability in the way we conduct ourselves internally. We have a Go Green initiative to reduce our own carbon footprint and what we do as part of this process is to report this every year. And uh, we have found that there has been a very significant emission reduction in the way we conduct ourselves. Last year it reduced by 23% because of the sustained effort. And this is integrated with certain employee programs which include carpooling, reduced air travel, more, greater use of VC and audio conferences. And all this we found has actually resulted in 448 tons of CO2 being avoided, uh, avoided by just careful planning. We also have a LEED gold certification for our office in Chennai. We don't have such impressive credentials as ITC has for its office, but one of our offices in Chennai has a LEED gold certification. We also have the first certification in India for an energy efficient data center. That's very important for the businesses that we do. We also have popularized the use of e-forms and e-statements for our mutual fund investors. 
And we, through our option of electronic format for the annual report for investors, have estimated that 1,440 trees were not cut down last year because 170,000 of our investors actually chose to receive their annual reports in electronic form. So this broadly summarizes some of the work that IDFC has done. Thank you.